so it is finally time guys to talk about the arc survival ascended release date deadline now this is something that is quite exciting but also very nerve-wracking for a lot of the arc survival ascended community because a lot of people are thinking is this a good thing is this a bad thing and i'm going to be talking about it with you guys in today's video now, as always, if you guys get all of the Survival Ascended and Survival Evolved news that you need, or just anything ARC related, smash that like button. It supports me more than you can imagine. Subscribe if you're new around here. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get in with the video. So, this all this information recently has been coming from the Snail Games financial um, financial reports, statements, all of that stuff. Um, you can go and find all of this source and all of these informations on the Snail Games website. It's all available online. This is just stuff that hasn't been released by Wildcard because it's not really, it's not, they're not going to do a massive exciting post saying, guys, we've got this release date deadline type video thing. They're only going to announce it when they have the official deadline in place, uh, the official release date in place. So, a lot of us were wondering, is there going to be another delay to the October release date? Now, no. By the looks of things, as I've said in my last uh, most recent videos, there is a deadline for October 31st. And I'm going to be explaining all of that, the reasons behind this to you guys. Now, I'm sure a lot of you know about this Nitrado deal and the reasons this has to happen. But I hope this all makes a lot of more sense to you guys. So about a week and a bit ago, we found out that Snail Games have taken out a $4 million loan with the company that run Nitrado, um, which um, is due to, I don't even know the reason why they're, uh, maybe they need money. We, no one knows. No one knows at this moment why they've loaned, uh, why they've asked to loan that money. And that obviously is probably a big part of why Arc Survival Evolved and Wildcard have announced that they're doing the partnership solely, uh, solely, sorry, with Nitrado, you know, that that came in an announcement recently i made a video on it now in this part of the contract there is a deal that snail games must release arc survival ascended before october 31st if and if and, and if they don't do this they will have to repay the loan within parts of the sales. I think it's like 20% or something. I, that's not 100% confirmed, by the way, guys. That's something I think I saw, but that's not confirmed stuff. Of each sale of Ark Survival Ascended to repay the loan they have taken from Nitrado. So obviously, you know... Snail games aren't going to want to do that because this could mean that all of their sales can be impacted in the future. The way snail games obviously want to do it is take, they took out that loan. Then from that loan, they were going to make a whole load of money from survival ascended, pay off that loan and then make even more from how successful survival ascended is going to be. So in a way for us as a community, it's a very positive thing that this has happened. But if you're one of those people that is just at a stage where they're like, I just want to play the game now. I just, you know, we've been waiting long enough. They have to release it in October. We've had way too many delays. So in that sense of things, yeah, that's great. Because especially for me being a content creator, Arc 2 was announced um, in December 2020. It's been two and a half years or just over two and a half years yet to be no proper new content obviously genesis part two came out but i mean uh, of a new game a new something new exciting there just hasn't been anything so of course for me with the constant delays i've been very excited to play it one of the biggest things and issues that i've raised that the community that i've talked about is uh, arise sorry is that is this going to mean the game could potentially be rushed now, I think it's currently in a good spot. We've seen the game is in its final stages right now. Um, I've made a video talking about that, saying they it, it passed quality control. It passed its beta testing. It's in its final stages and so they are on track to be launching in october but again i, I read your comments guys don't you worry and i saw a lot of you saying now this is stressing me out because if the game comes out in october and because they've had to under contract could it be rushed 
So these are all the different points that have been coming up and they're very, very valid points. Do I think the game is going to be rushed? No, I actually think they may have taken that extra step to delay it from August to October to make sure that there, you know, there is all the exact precautions put into place to make sure this game launch is great. Something else that I think Wildcard will always need to remember in their own words is as a team over the years, they've learned so much since the start and the launch of the first game that they're now putting it into the new game to make sure nothing repeats from the start. So that is the one thing I'm holding high hopes for um, over this release are the fact that they're going to stick by their words and when they release it, they've learned from past mistakes and this game could potentially launch as one of the most exciting games of 2023. Now, I wanted to pick up a comment um, from a few of you guys saying, Dom, how can you even say Ark Survival Ascended is going to be one of the most anticipated games of 2023? I completely get you. I am as excited for Starfield as all of you guys are. I can't even tell you how excited I am for Starfield. Like um, uh, the, the fact that Starfield, some of the more, most recent information I made a video on recently just sounded so exciting. I am going to be like sinking hours and hours into that game. And it's going to be a lot of fun to finally have a new game in a new universe like we all had with Fallout and um, the Elder Scrolls. So I am as excited for you as well. But... Ark Survival of Old has been out for eight years. It's what's still one of the most popular games. And this isn't me as a content creator that does Ark saying, please play, please play. But the reason why I'm saying it could be one of the most amazing games is because it's going to be a fully re reformed game that could have everything we've always wanted with mods and everything all into one game, a whole new DLC. The game's going to be more playable in a new system and overall just look so much better. So again, I still have worries. Of course, I'm not saying it's going to be the best game of 2023. All I'm saying is, is if everything goes right, it could be right up there with Starfield. So I'm going to be grinding a month's worth of Starfield. Don't you worry, guys. Alongside my grind of Starfield, I will be keeping you completely up to date with all of your daily ARC news on what's happening because so much news will be coming out in September, which I'll be covering uh, building up to the October re release. But of course, we're all going to be grinding Starfield for a month and probably hopefully years to come. But, you know, I am excited. New game. Let's hope that the reason... Its release date is going to be before October. It's for more beneficial reasons to the community and not because it's rushed. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching today's video. Leave a like because it seriously does support the channel more than I can even say to you guys seriously. When I hit, when I see that like target, uh, you know, when even when I wake up in the morning and I read those comments, it means so much to me. We did smash over 225,000 subscribers recently. Really want to push for the big 300K this year with the new game. Um, you know, it's been a dream to even be where I am now. So I'm just looking forward to building and building. Catch you guys in the next video and I'll see you guys later.